Brady can chuck it and score! Nice Shabbat curl and drives and scores! And the Senators win it. Five apart, Leonard Chan, Mavic and scores! Great Mavic and scores! Oh, and drops it! Green! Oh, Green again and scores! Welcome to Sens Talk. My name is Brandon, and I'm your host. Now, before we get started, please follow us on Twitter at Sens Talk underscore and on Instagram at Sens Talk. Now, before we get into tonight's recap between the Ottawa Sanders and the Winnipeg Jets, a few things. Firstly, question for you, the fans. Comment below right now. Let me know what you think. Do you want to see more live content here at Sens Talk? Let me know. I look forward to reading all the responses down below. As well, check out Sens Stonks, episode number four. Great episode. Check that out today. As well, use the promo code Sens Talk when you go to SeatGeek.com. Use the promo code Sens Talk to save twenty US dollars off your first purchase. It's a great deal. Take advantage of that today. As well, we are honored to be sponsored by the Premier Culture Magazine in Ottawa, Faces Magazine. Make sure to check out the new May issue from Faces Magazine today. Magazines to offer for free in grocery stores and select locations across Ottawa. And this month's issue features a cover interview with Mark Mathot. Also in this issue, Mark and Brent Wallace discuss their new hit show, The Wally Mathot Show. The May issue also has features on Gord Wilson, Megan Cheka, and Alex Medias of the Ottawa Red Blacks. Also, do not forget to follow Faces on their social channels for great content, crazy contests, plus more. That's at Faces Ottawa for their Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook pages. Now, now in tonight's lineup, a few things. Firstly, Alex Fermentin returns to the lineup once again after a short break or absence from the lineup. And as well, Anton Fortisberg unfortunately does not return. He's still out. Uh, he should return soon, though. I don't see why he wouldn't. Uh, but he will not be playing or backing up tonight's game. Marcus Hallberg, in fact, is backing up for Ottawa tonight. Now, Jacob Bernard Dock remains out of the lineup once again. Why? Your guess is as good as mine. It makes absolutely no sense. Now, I've seen some people, and I'll address this before I get into a little rant. I've seen some people say that we should send him at least to the AHL to get some minutes. You can't. He was signed after the trade deadline, so I'm pretty sure there's a rule saying he cannot uh, be sent down. Uh, and if he is able to be sent down, then send him down if you're not going to play him. This makes absolutely no sense. But if you can't, get him in the lineup here in the NHL. Because Josh Brown, he hasn't been terrible. But at, at the end of the day, we were just mathematically eliminated from playoff contention. We burnt a year off this guy's contract. Get him in the games. End of story. It makes no sense. There's no reason why we aren't playing JBD. And honestly, sure, it's good to get him a couple games up in the press box uh, in the beginning of his career. But now he's been sitting for 10 to 11 days. There's absolutely no reason, no benefit to this. And he needs to be in the lineup right now. So next game, if he's not in the lineup, I honestly will be speechless. I don't know what it, what what the plan is with this guy. Um except just kind of trying to ruin his confidence. I don't know what they're trying to do here. I, I'm sure he'll be ready to go next season, and I understand you don't want to play him to every single game. That's something else. But to sit him for like five, six games in a row now, that's it's a little ridiculous at this point. Now, starting it for Ottawa, it was Philip Gustafson, and for the Jets, it was Laurent Brassois to the first boot to go. Unfortunate news, 10 minutes in, Tom Shabbat gets slammed into by Logan Stanley, immediately skates off to the locker room. It looked like it was an injury to the left arm slash shoulder. He returned uh, to the bench moments after that, but then left the bench again, did not return, does not look good for a return uh, tonight, and it looks like Tom Shabbat may be out for uh, a bit of time. We'll see post-game. Now, a couple minutes later, though, Ottawa is somehow on uh, the penalty kick. Kill. Doesn't matter. The penalty kill for Ottawa is electric as always as Nick Paul steals the puck. A beautiful nifty pass to Connor Brown who puts it home for his 18th of the year shorthanded. The penalty kill unit does it again. Ottawa leads 1-0 going into the second period of play. My first period thoughts. It's very simple. Two things. One, game did not start off right for Ottawa. It was a bad start for the Sanders. Shabbat getting injured. The Jets were kind of all over Ottawa in the first 10 minutes. But then after that Shabbat injury... Ottawa kind of rallied from that penalty that they took. That penalty that they took. They ended up being a penalty kill. Uh, shorthanded opportunity for Ottawa to give, give them the one nothing lead. So they built off that Brown goal. They ended the period strong. Um, and in regards to the penalty kill, um, they have been so good uh, the last month and this month or so. They have been electric for Menton, Shane Pinto, Connor Brown, Nick Paul. Uh, you could go through the list. They've been really, really good. And um, if you're a Sens fan... That's just the beginning. These players are going to be with Ottawa for a good amount of time. This team is going to be really special, ladies and gentlemen. But besides that, let's get to the second period of play where Ottawa looks to take a 2-0 lead or more. Philip Gustafson during that second period of play was unreal. I, I don't even think he's human after that period. I think he is some sort of alien or robot because some of those saves... Is just 
they just did not make any sense. The shots in that second period were 17-4 in favor of Winnipeg. Josh Morrissey, the defenseman for Winnipeg, had as many shots as Ottawa at a point in the second period of play. So Ottawa in that period got completely outmatched by the Winnipeg Jets. The Jets had three power plays, and guess what? As you can see here, Philip Gustafson was making mind-boggling stops left, right, and center every single shift. This guy that period was dialed in, locked in. Incredible period for Philip Gustafson. And I'm telling you, he's making me start to think that he might be the future goalie, number one goalie for the Ottawa Sanders. Like, there's a certain point where it's a flash in the pan, but after a few weeks, he's continuing this hot play. It's not just here early on in March, he's playing well. We're in May. We're in May after like a month of him not playing in the NHL, and he's playing like un unreal. So, obviously, you know, you never know how these things can go, but I think Phil Gustafson's going to have a bright future in the National Hockey League, and hopefully that future is with the Ottawa Sanders. Um, because that period, what a period by Philip Gustafson. That was unreal. Now, I'm going to get to one of your questions before we get to the third period portion of today's video. Question comes in from Phil Philippe Villeneuve. They ask, do you think Ottawa will make the playoffs next season? No, not a chance. Um, I think, well, there's two things. One, if we're in the Canadian division... Again, for whatever reason, possibly, but that's likely not going to happen. It's likely going to be the Atlantic Division once again with Boston and Tampa Bay and etc. So it's going to be much tougher competition, which makes me believe that it will likely be tougher for Ottawa, of course, to make the playoffs. But that being said, while I don't think they'll make the playoffs, they will certainly be in the conversation. They'll be a bubble team. They'll probably be, they'll probably be in the wild card conversation if that's a thing next year. They'll probably finish between 11th and 9th in the conference next year. Uh, and that's progress. As long as they progress and they're competitive during the season and they compete for a playoff spot, that's all you can ask for. And that's what you should expect for the Ottawa Sanders. After next season, then after next season is when we should start thinking about playoffs. Next season is the year we, where we should probably start you know, fighting for a playoff spot. But I think after next year, uh, we should expect playoffs. Besides that, let's get to the third period portion of today's video where Ottawa looks to hold the one to nothing lead. Sends win, sends win, sends win, sends win. What a win for your Ottawa Sanders tonight as they take down the Winnipeg Jets 2-1 in a final minute goal by Nikita Zaitsev. His first goal against a goaltender in Ottawa's in, in his in an Ottawa Sanders uniform. All of his three previous goals as an Ottawa Sanders were empty netters. And he could not have picked a better time to score his first goal against a goalie as an Ottawa Senator as it wins it in regulation over the Winnipeg Jets. And for Winnipeg, this is a huge loss for them. They've lost seven in a row. That's the first time they've done that since 2005 when they were Atlanta Thrashers. With that loss today for Winnipeg, that seventh loss in a row, they're now tied with Montreal in the standings for uh, playoffs. So this is a huge loss for the Winnipeg Jets and for Ottawa. Well... It's an electric win. How can we complain? Philip Gustafson with 28 stops. Nikita Zaitsev with the goal in the final minute. Connor Brown continues to score uh, like his life depends on it. Ottawa is winning, and they're winning a lot. In their last eight games, they are 6-1-1. One, one. But before we continue to talk about how well Ottawa played, and the, well, they didn't really play well, but how well Ottawa has played as of late, let's talk about the how we even got to the end of this game. So 10 minutes into the third period, after a decent start by Ottawa, hold on. Important message. After a decent start for Ottawa, you know, uh, Tim Stewart still got a chance in the first 30 seconds. Ottawa got a couple of chances early on in the third period, but then the Jets continued to press. And then with 10 minutes left after a turnover, Josh Morrissey has all day to put it on net. Gustafson gets a piece, can't get enough of it, and the Jets tied at one apiece. It's a 1 1 game. But then Ottawa starts putting some pressure on net. Philip Gustafson's forced to make some more big stops. And then with a minute left, after Connor Brown almost scores, great play by him to even get the puck. Uh, he puts it back to the point. Nikita Zaitsev winds, fires, and slaps it home. He takes the lead right back for Ottawa. The Sens now lead 2-1 to one on a bar down clapper from the point from Nikita Zaitsev. What a shot for the Russian. And Ottawa leads 2-1, to one, and then they kill it. They kill the last final minute as the Sanders win it 
2-1 to one over the Winnipeg Jets in an electric game. And it's a great win. And it's a win. Hey, that's it's just a fun win to have during the last few games of the regular season. Now for Ottawa tonight, like I just said, they are now 6-1-1 one one of their last eight games. Philip Gustafson, phenomenal. I mean, phenomenal. 29 shots he faced. 28 saves. All right? He made... Five saves, that probably should have been in the back of the net tonight. So, Philip Gustafson, if he's not the Sense Talk star of the night, I don't know who is. Speaking of that, let's get to the Sense Talk star of the night, voted by you, the fans. Um, honestly, I don't know how it cannot be Philip Gustafson. Come on now. If the fans are voting for this, it should be 100% Philip Gustafson, but it's actually it isn't. I'm surprised uh, it's not 100% Philip Gustafson. Uh, in fourth place with 2% of the vote, 104 votes, by the way. And uh, fourth place with 2% of the vote, Tim Stutzla. Uh, he didn't get a goal tonight. He could have got one early on in the third period of play. I thought he had a good game, uh, a lot of good chances, and he was he was pretty good on the power play too. He was passing the puck pretty well. So I liked his game. Fourth star, third star, uh, with four percent of the vote. Nikita Zaitsev game winning goal in the last minute well, is going to put you on the board for sure for the sense talk star of the night. Clap bomb from the point. Hell of a goal. Hell of a night. Nikita Zaitsev third star, second star with eleven percent of the vote. Connor Brown. Uh, very very good number if you couldn't tell Connor Brown 18 goals on the season for the guy um you gotta feel you gotta be happy for him you know um it's a career season for him and uh, especially the way the season started for him you know with those consistent missed uh, opportunities on breakaways and everything it's great to see him scoring at will now so um you know uh, great season for Connor Brown and he's the second star and first star I think this goes without saying with 83 percent of the vote your send stock star of the night it is Philip Gustafson Gus the bus the goose whatever the hell you want to call him Philly franchise even he's your send stock star of the night with 28 saves on 29 shots what a game Sens fans what a game and we get to do it all again this Wednesday against Montreal at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. So besides that, I'll see you then. Thank you all for watching. Hell of a game. Hell of a win. Ottawa, let's go. Besides that, thank you for watching. Be sure to like this video, share this video with cool stuff, and click the big red button down there, and subscribe to us. And most importantly of all, turn the notification bell on so you get notified after we upload a new video. Besides that, the Senators, they win it 2-1. to one, And I'll see you all Wednesday night. Go, Sins, go.